Hi everyone, how are you guys today? I am Dr. Ricardo Alves from Brazil. First of all, I want to say thank you to the Geistelich company and to the whole people who were involved in my invitation to the Geistelich plus you in the spotlight. I'm very honored for being here. Today, I'm gonna present to you guys a dental case about a patient who suffered a bike accident. We're gonna talk about GBR plus immediate dental implant in a patient victim of trauma. This is the first picture from the patient when he came to my dental office. At that moment, he still had uh, some stitches in his mouth uh, and I uh, was told that he was victim of a, a bike accident a um, couple days before. So we ordered um, image exams to make a plan and we have the, the right diagnostic from the, this case. This is uh, another view from the patient. And here, after the examination and also this first uh, image exam that I got, it was the, the x-ray, uh, we noticed that the patient lost a new a dental unit, uh, the 21, and also had two broken teeth, the units 11 and the 22 as well. Here another view from the occlusal, occlusal view uh, from the tomographic exam. We noticed by the tomographic exam that the other units were uh, in a good uh, situation. Only these three units um, had damage. Looking to this picture, you can see that there is a fracture on the buccal bone. Um, checking it, uh, we noticed that it was already involved by the soft tissue, so we considered it was already lost. The good news uh, was that the patient had is still had a good amount of bone on the palatal area. Following the classification of this study from Ken et al. from 2011, we classified the situation of this patient as type one in this classification uh, because type one is when we had enough bone on the palatal area that we can still uh, put the, page, the, the dental implant in a three-dimensional position, even that we lost completely the buccal bone. This was the situation at the moment of the surgery. Uh, even with all the damage that we had, uh, we could see some good situations in some points. For example, we still have the, the papillas. Uh, we still have a good high on the, the gengival margin. But the bad, the bad scenario was that the buccal portion of the soft tissue was invaginated to the bone defect. So we started the, the surgery. Uh, you can see that we stood away from the papillas on the, the both uh, sides. And then we cleaned it up everything inside the ridge. And so we, we did the toilet. And then we started the perforation 
looking for the three dimensional position, um, the, the, the best position that we could uh, to this dental implant. This is the, the post to, to check the position. Here is uh, a closure view. And in this view, we can see the, the portion of the, the, uh, the bone that we have to rebuild. So we started the installation of the dental implant. See that uh, this dental implant has a good design, a good shape, so looking for uh, primary uh, stabilization. And here another view, closest. And because the, the surface treatment of this dental implant, it's a very interesting that once the dental implants touch the blood, the blood starts to coming up to the body of the dental implant. Here you can see better. And this is a very interesting. You see uh, all the blood coming up and this uh, is very good to the os integration. A closer view. Once the dental implant is installed already, so we start to look for the, the margin uh, in relation to the, the dental implant. So we proceed the measures because we have to make sure that the dental implant has a, the, a good distance from the dental margin, at least four millimeters from the dental margin uh, because it's necessary this space to regrow the the soft tissue between the, 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 the permanent crown and also the dental implant. So we check the, the dental implant was in a three-dimensional position. Also, we see in this picture what that we have to rebuild, talking about the the, the bone defect. So we started to proceed the, the GBR using biomaterial, uh, using the BIOS. I, I have chosen the, the BIOS large because the, the, the size of the, the bone defect. In this picture, we can see uh, the shape of the particles of the BIOS large, and then we use a very good membrane to cover it, to cover it and it, this is the, the bio guide. So I, I decided to cut the, the bio guide to cover all the area in a better way. This is another view from the, the, the bio guide membrane. Then I collected a soft tissue from the palate area. And then we put over the, the bio guide membrane. And then we started to, to, to do the stitches and we use absorbable and non-absorbable tissue, uh, stitches, sorry. This is a very good uh, picture that we can see all the volume that we, we got in, in the, the, at the moment of the, the surgery. It's a very good amount of volume. So, I, at that moment, I saw that we have a very good situation, a very predictable one. So 
we did the, the, the temporary crown. This picture was taken 12 days after the surgery. Uh, we can see no signs of inflammation or sore, and the patient had no complaints about the recovery time. Then we redesigned the temporary crowns, and after it, the, the lab sent us the permanent crowns done. We can see all the views from them. This picture is very interesting because we can see that the volume that we got is still there. Um, and on the left, we see the, the prep to the, to the crown. And on the right, we can see the area of the dental implant ready to wait for the permanent crown. Here, the, the crowns already set on the place. This is an amazing picture, a beautiful picture that we can see all the treatment done, all the, our job that we uh, put our efforts to, to do well paid. Uh, that's very important to remember that we had the right plan since the beginning. We had a very good surgery and very important is that we use the right materials. We use a very good dental implant and also excellent biomaterials. We use it bios and bioguide membrane. In this uh, case, in this scenario, we had since the beginning a very predictable, predictable treatment. And look what we got. Then finally, we have the, the new smile from the patient, very secure smile. Here again from another angle. And this is a very happy uh, picture. Um, the patient uh, was very, um, uh, very happy and the feedback was excellent for us, a very emotional feedback from him and from his family as well. Here another picture. And finally, guys, I want once again uh, say thank you to the Geisherich company, company and also thank you for your audience. I really hope to see you guys very soon. Stay safe and greetings from Brazil. Bye-bye.